Okay, so we're back with day two of this Alex Perez inspired dubstep tune now and it was sounding pretty cool yesterday. I think I definitely want to do some more effects stuff and some arrangement stuff. And I know, uh, especially in the second half of the track, it's just kind of repeating. So I'll try, try and get some variations in the second half of the track as well. So I've just set up the cameras rolling again and I'm just going to walk you through my process really of how I get on today. So yeah, let's get stuck into it. Yo, 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 yo. I want a new bass noise, I think. Maybe more distortion. Yeah. Um, maybe it needs like to layer on top of this bass noise. I almost want it to like re-trigger. Uh, do I just do the the slicing technique? Maybe. So a really cool way here, I was thinking like I could go in and chop up this vocal. But what I'm actually trying to do is I'm going to layer this vocal underneath the one I've got just to exaggerate it. And I thought, why don't I just use this SSX trick to kind of fit. I know this fits perfectly in this pattern, so I can go S00 to SFF and fit it perfectly in. Um, and it's going to have some artifacts, but actually for like layering something like this, I was just going to go and put like a reverb on and maybe even do something with like Alter Boy and do one of those like pitching tricks where you pitch the layered vocal up or down like an octave or a fifth or something like that. Let's try this. And what I'm going to do is cut it out at, um, I can actually just use the X command. And then I can just play this now. They ain't savage. Thought that you was a don till you got. So let's play it with the whole track. They ain't savage. Thought that you was a don till you. The don here, so I can get rid. They ain't savage. Thought that you was a don till you got real. Now they can't. That's kind of cool. And just have this. They ain't savage. Thought that you was a don till you got real. Now they can't manage. Bare excuses. Ego damage. And have a layered vocal in there. They ain't savage. Thought that you was a don till you got real. Now they can't manage. Copy it to the next one and then on the next one go down they ain't savage thought that you was a don till you got real now they can't manage bare excuses ego damage beef ain't appealing now we want radish this has this like dang dang here i can't want to make that even crazier than it is one, 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 one. maybe i can go one, 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 one. not bad you know they ain't savage, thought that you was a don till you got real, now they can't manage. Bare excuses, ego damage. Yo, new split, same weed, flavours, no seeds, you get me? Top shelf, good look. Yo, new split, same weed, flavours, no seeds, you get me? Top shelf, good look. Just trying to come up with ideas, sometimes you get kind of stuck and you're like, you're on the cusp of a good idea, but you're not quite sure what to do, and you just got to keep throwing paint at the wall. Almost always, it's just perseverance is the key ingredient to getting through these like little tough bits in a track of like what to add next. And I'm just working on like a flip of the bass. And what I did is copy my original bass down, the second half of it. To a new track and then I've just been I put this um, volume ADSR on just some release and then I've put it on a mute group as well so each note's going to cut each other off but then there's also some release when you um, hit an off note 
So rather than just stopping at the off note, it plays through. And I kind of like how it just, I just need to make it kind of fit now, but I had a little idea. I've left some space in this bass and I'm gonna go and make a new bass um, in the digitone. Flavors, no seeds, you get me. Finally we got it. I mean it's not perfect, but it's good enough that I could I can come back to it. I try and get things as close as I can to the way I want them when I do them the first time. I don't like leaving stuff until later, but I had to battle with this bass noise for half an hour. I just wanted to get like a cool wobbly bass in here. And I did this really clever trick where I've basically got a key tracker. And if I go to this bass, what's happening with this bass, it might look confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. I've just got a an LFO actually. So there's an LFO working and I've mapped the LFO for the basses to this speed macro. And what that means is I can come in here and use instrument macros. So this changing the speed here is just doing exactly the same thing as changing the speed here. But what I can do in this window is I can apply a key tracker and then I was messing around with the like min max values of the key tracker and the actual note range. And what it's gonna mean is that higher notes up the keyboard are gonna um, wobble at different speeds as lower notes, just as it would if you sampled the actual hit. And I can really exaggerate this. But it's quite a fun way to play with the actual speed of the wobbles, the rhythm of it. But the cool thing about this is another thing I was trying is because we're actually using an LFO to do the wobbles and we haven't resampled it, we can come and apply like pitch envelopes. And the wobbles are actually going to stay at the same rate. So it is it is an interesting way of doing it. But anyway, I eventually got there. Yo, new split, same weed, flavors, no seeds, you get me? Top shelf, good look, bad breed. I love it where it goes <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I want to exaggerate. I can hear it happening in the bass. That's where it's going. <laughs> and in some ways, I want to make this sound. Because it sounds really cool. Because you're hearing it almost like you're hearing one, 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 and then separately you're hearing it saying, wow. And so in my head, I want to kind of do something. So just duplicate this down. Okay, let's take that. And I'm going to layer it. I'm going to duplicate this instrument. I'm going to layer it on top of where this note is actually happening. Yo, new split, same weed, flavors, no seeds, you get me? Top shelf, good look. Yeah, so quickly, just to like conclude what I did for this flip bass section is I started with this. Uh, the same bass sound I did my earlier passage with. I just went for something a little bit more simple with the same instrument and then left these big gaps. Knowing that I could come in and add all this cool effects and other bass layers to kind of pump it up. So then I went and got this kind of my other bass that I used actually in the other sec section. So this bass. Yeah, and so I took that bass and I copied it and I created like a variation of that bass. And I did that cool key tracking thing I showed you. And then I've also gone and one thing that was happening with this in initial bass layer. It's going one, 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 wow. And that noise, I was, thought it was cool. And so I wanted to kind of exaggerate it. So I ended up resampling it, adding it to a new track and kind of filtering it, distorting it, adding reverb. And so when you play them together, I've made it more of an effect and I just wanted to bring it out, that, that sound, because it was just something cool that ended up happening with that bass and I was hearing it in the track. And then the other thing I did is I went and got some cool stab samples for like a fat end of, um, end of this passage and then I've, the last thing I have is another kind of digitone bass in here which is a pitch rising with an LFO as well like an amp M LFO with a rising pitch OK, 
Okay, so I've just finished now my second three-hour session with this tune, and if I look at my session time tracker, I've done six hours now on this track, and it's getting there. I've added lots of little arrangement things and, and new basses and new effects just to um, add some variation to keep everything interesting for the ears. And I think it's probably going to need another three or four hour session just to polish it and really give it that last 10%. And some of this is going to be mixing and just a few little touches here and there just to tie everything together. But I'm kind of happy with where it's going, especially for my first dubstep track I've ever, ever made. I think it's sounding pretty good. And the vocal here is definitely helping me, but um, I think it really works with the track and I've been building it around this vocal. Um, so yeah, I'll just roll out with this now and then I'm going to have one more part, I think, just going through the final stages of this production. Yo, new split, same weed, flavours, no seeds, you get me? Top shelf, good look, 